Hello to all my beautiful subscribers. I wanted to do a quick video and just talk about a couple of machines that have been announced the last few days. There's an Equihash machine that's been released and there's one, uh, an FPGA that can do Crypto Knight and Lyra 2Z. Lyra 2Z, my favourite algorithm right now. Uh, so I just want to kind of catch up and show you what's been happening. So if I jump over to my browser, you guys know the Antminer Z9 Mini has been reduced to $850. This little thing is quite efficient. It's, you know, about 300 watts, I think. And it can do about 10,000 songs, perhaps even 11,000. Now, Jihan Wu announced that the Z9, the, the big size version, is going to be three to four times uh, as powerful. So, you know, 30 to 40,000 souls, but it's going to have higher noise as well. So we're not sure about the price of the, the big size, you know, the full size version of the Z9. Um, but obviously they're going to have to price it so that, you know, people don't want to buy four Z9 minis, they'll buy one Z9. Sounds like it's going to be louder. But a few days ago, I saw the announcement of this. This is from a company called Inno Silicon. And they've announced the A9Z Master, 50,000 souls, and it only uses 620 watts. That is super efficient. Super efficient. Um, and you can see the machine there. There's a video about it down the bottom as well. But you can see the, the specs here. 50,000 souls, plus or minus 6%, 620 watts. Um, they're calling it the A9Z Master, 5.92 kilograms. Uh, I'm not sure of the uh, the noise levels of this, but uh, I'm sure it's going to be very loud. Now, the thing that kind of stuck with me, though, is the price. You know, this is going to be sold for $9,099. The first batch, again, a, a free PSU. But $9,999 seems quite expensive to me because, you know, that's $10,000. And, you know, it effectively can do, it's effectively five Z9 minis. Now, it is more efficient than five Z9 minis. You won't have five units, you have one, but you could buy five Z9 minis for a hell of a lot cheaper than one of these. So, I don't know. I mean, if, if you're in the market for an ASIC miner, why wouldn't you just buy multiple Z9 minis rather than one device that's $10,000? Seems very overpriced if you look at what Bitmain are doing. I'm not sure. I'm sure some people will still buy it, but yeah, it seems quite expensive. Now, the other thing that I've saw coming out is this. The VCU1525. Now, this company has got two products out. One of them has been sold out. This one says it comes with mods. $3,600. Estimated shipping date is August. Now, this one is quite efficient as well. You can see 75 watts PCI Express or 150 watts. Or plus 150 watts, sorry. Um, now, let's see, 150 watts. Now, as far as what this can do, it can do Crypto Knight 14 kilohash. And it can do a Lyra 2Z at 20.5 uh, mega hash. Now, here's the thing. I don't think this is a fantastic buy, in my opinion. Now, I've mined Crypto Knight once or twice, but I can't remember, you know, the, the hash rates for all my cards. But I know from mining Lyra 2Z over the last few weeks that with a 1080 Ti, for example, it'll get maybe about 3.15 mega hashes. So effectively, this is like, about five, about I'd say it's about five, under six, maybe five 1080 Ti's, I would say. Now, five 1080 Ti's, you're talking well over, you know, you're probably talking at 1,000 watts or so, if, even if you underpower it. So 1,000 watts, and, you know, this is going to do 150 watts. Now, five 1080 Ti's, if you look at this, price-wise, four would be um, 3,600. On five, it'd be less than that, it'd be 3,200. Um, so five would be $4,000. This is 3,600. So for me, yes, this is more efficient, a hell of a lot more efficient, but I would prefer to just buy five 1080 Ti's. They have much better resale value. You can resell them a year or two from now to gamers. You would get a lot of money back for it. And you're not limited to Crypto Knight and Lyra 2Z. Now, it does say here that performance is expected to increase, but for me, I would expect that hash rate to be higher. It is very efficient, so you are going to save on electricity, and that's you know, that's always a good thing. It's always, always a good thing. Um, but, you know, basically for like, you know, if you had five of those getting the same same power, you'd probably talking a thousand watts compared to 150 watts there. So you're really reducing your electricity bills, but you're only going to have Lyra 2Z or Kryptonite. Now, that my opinion on this might change, you know, as it says here, performance expected to increase. But at the current price level, I would opt for just buying multiple 1080 Ti's rather than one of these. So, yeah, both of these machines that are coming out, uh, you know, I'm not in the market for an ASIC miner anyway. 
I'm not planning on buying any, one anytime soon, but obviously as someone who's been mining with GPUs, you've got to know that enemy. You've got to know them, how this is going to affect the coins that you're mining. And I have been mining with LIDA 2Z. But anyone out there who's thinking about buying this, I don't know about Crypto Knight. As I said, I don't know. I'd have to check the, the hash rates. But I know from mining LIDA 2Z, I would say you'd be better just buying GPUs, buying NVIDIA or AMD GPUs. So to me, that doesn't seem as good as it says there. My opinion will change if, you know, the, the hash rate goes up. And it's the same with this one. You know, you can get five Z9 minis there. And they'll be a hell of a lot cheaper than buying uh, one of these at $10,000. So, I don't know. It will save you electricity and all that, but it, it just doesn't seem like an impulse buy, even if you're in the market for an ASIC miner. Now, neither of these machines are making me rush out and buy an ASIC mine machine. Um, we've talked about the effect of Equihash and all that, but, you know, the fact that LIDAR 2Z has been targeted now, and this is the algorithm that I've turned to over the last few weeks, because it's efficient, it uses less electricity, um, but neither of these machines, you know, make me concerned in any way. What it does show, though, is that we are seeing more and more units coming out, and this argument about, you know, FPGAs are, are evil and all that, it, it, uh, FPGAs, ASIC machines that they're evil, it doesn't really, it doesn't really hold up if there's a huge amount of you know alternatives out in the market. It just seems right now though that bit mains are much more um, efficient from a price point of view, electricity point of view as well. In fact, not from an electricity point of view, these things are more efficient. But from a price point of view, at least bit mains seem to be the cheapest by a, a large margin, at least from Equihash. When we're seeing lots of different options available out there, and you know you can get a, a machine for any algorithm then I don't think this um, the argument will hold up that, that we should all be GPU miners. But that's for another day. I'll link to these articles. You can check them out for yourself, guys. Let me know what you think about the E9Z Master and the the, the lovely name, the VCU1525. Very catchy name. So let me know what you think about these. Uh, I'm not sure if any of you guys would buy them, but to me, um, certainly with the FPGA, I would lean towards just buying graphics cards so that you can do multiple algorithms and you have resale value. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a comment below and I'll speak to you all in the next one. Cheers.